And th this was all uh, done independently without the labor All rights. done independently. What was it? Because I imagine you didn't have any experience in... in I had no experience in anything, music business, mm -hmm. anything. I was just doing the best I could. I've made a lot of mistakes and I've learned a lot. What? And I feel like I will be able to help other artists avoid mistakes that I made. What, what type of mistakes uh, did you make? Hiring the wrong people, um, figuring out how to do a sound check instead of like how to be respectful of other people's like what the, what the professional setting is in just on tour. Mm -hmm. Like what does a tour manager do? I didn't know what a tour manager, I didn't know those were, existed. I didn't know the artist was just supposed to really just sit there and focus 100% on the music. I, th I thought it was, you have to do music, you have to set up the show, you have to set up the gear, you have to make sure the sound's right, you have to do this, and then you can play the show. And then you have to tear down, you have to sell your merch. You have to, and I didn't realize that you can get various people to do all those jobs. So it's like, I know that. And then like, publishing side of things, the music business where when you write a song and people use it, you need to get paid for that. Like, I thought if people just heard your music, that was good enough. But it's like, no, because we're artists, we should you know, get paid for that. And it's like, just these little lessons along the way that have allowed me to make it a business versus just you know, a hobby. So. Did this business side um, change the way you approach music? It, it has, absolutely. In, 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 a, in a good way, I think, because I always check numbers of what's doing well, what's not doing well. And I can get almost like facts of like, this worked for me, this didn't work for me. Okay, let's refine it and make it better. Right. And sometimes I, I throw all that out the window. I'm like, screw that. Let's just do whatever you feel. And then I do whatever I feel and it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. So it, it, I have both brains doing this all the time. Well, this is gonna be a difficult question, but uh, what in, in the general lines then have you found out that works? It's balance. It's making sure you have everything taken care of in a sense of like you're protected, you got people around you who know what they're doing, and then you have to give yourself freedom to be as creative as possible. And um, that, that, for me, like the cover thing worked really well. The original thing is now starting to work really well, and it's like just, and you gotta be able just to make mistakes and be okay with that. Like I'm learning every day. Well, I, th I wrote a, a quote down and I found somewhere. It's, um, don't let your failures uh, define you. Uh, let it, I think, redefine you. Um, don't let your failures define you, let them redefine you. And I think any, anybody in any capacity, in any job, who's passionate about something, whether it's journalism or whether it's music, like, you're gonna have a hard time at one point in your career. And it allows you to grow and realize who you are as a person. And so you have to go through those failures in order to get to where you want to be. Well, in the making of uh, Honestly, what mm -hmm. have you discovered about yourself? Actually, there's, there's, there's two things I've discovered about myself, and that was um, what I love to do as an artist and what I'm good at doing, and letting other people who are better than you do what they do, because it always takes you up to a, a, a better level. So I learned that led by letting go sometimes, it's the best thing to do. Is, was it difficult to uh, let that control uh, go? No, because I trusted the person I, work, I was working with, because they were good people. Um, but I always have a tendency to go back, well, what about, what about, what about, ah, uh, okay, relax. It's okay, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think more than anything, I've learned a lot about myself and what I want to do on tour, because you spend so much time doing the same things and, and, and being with the same people and it's like, it's just a good time to reflect on your own life and like what you want to be as a person, how you want to connect with people. So. Well, uh, quickly over to the album then. Yeah, uh, oh sorry, yeah. Because I don't have <laughs> no, a yeah, lot yeah. of time left. Um, well, as you mentioned before, most of your writing is, involves love songs, mm -hmm. um, as is true for the, uh, the record. Yes. But you've said you're notoriously bad at relationships. <laughs> as of to date, yes, I'm not very good at relationships. They have <laughs> I, I've written a lot of songs about how I've made mistakes and how other people have treated me and how I've treated other people, and I'm hoping I don't have to go through that again. And these songs are just a testament to me saying, I've been here, I've done that, let's move on something different <laughs> and I hope everybody can relate to that some of these stories so. have you gotten better along the, the, I think, the I think writing so. help? I think the older I get and the more I write about it it's like therapy like mm -hmm. 
you learn. You learn where you make mistakes and what you're good at, what you want to be. So I feel like I'm a little, hopefully, hopefully better. So. And uh, when you write these songs, do you have a particular person in mind? Oh, uh, was, the, was, uh, is it, was it for this album, was it the same person most of the time? Or all of most the time? of the time I write a song and it's about one or two people in my life. And um, yeah, does, does this person then know that it's about them? I don't think so. Is, okay. <laughs> I, I, I was, thought I was in love with this person. Uh, we grew up together, we dated, we're still friends, but it hasn't worked out. Well, that I read in the bio there was a song, uh, Dashes. Uh, is it about the same person? There's two, like I said, there's two people, and the other, that one was about the other person who I felt really, really close to. Um, and she still hasn't even listened to the song, and she needs to listen to it. That, that, that's what I was uh, <laughs> getting at. Why, do you know why she hasn't listened to it? She hasn't listened to it because she's not emotionally ready to yet. She wants to get over us before she listens to my music. And it's been... Almost two years. Okay. So. And and when you play these songs, or even when you, I suppose when you write them, it's obvious that these emotions uh, come back. But when you play them, do they also? Um... Depends on the night. If I'm really, if I'm thinking about, if I'm in the right moment, that comes back, and it's 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 emotional. It's tough. Um, but that happens. And sometimes I I don't let myself go there because it's too hard. I just sing it to sing it, you know. So. Well, was it something that um, f right from the start was uh, something you did laying your soul or burying your soul basically in, in your music? Was that easy to do? To be completely honest, it's hard sometimes um, because I want to say so many things. I feel like I've said enough to where I'm being, being honest and I feel like the next record, it'll even take that a step further. It's like... Here's me right now. Here's me where I was. And now that I've grown even just a little from that time from being on tour, it's like I want to say so many more things. And sometimes I don't think those are that appropriate. In the sense of the, <laughs> because of the, uh, it's, it's there for the public or because you don't want to discuss it with anybody else? Both. I think part of it is <clears throat> sometimes you just don't want people to really know everything. Because um, I'm growing up. And I'm excited even about the next time because it's like this. I took a step. I was like, okay, I can say, yeah, I did come home that one time, wasted, mm -hmm. and no one says my name like the way you say it. Like, I was able to say that this time. But even next time, it's like there's more to write about that I'm nervous because I, I, I like to keep it clean. I like to be as you know clean as possible, and it's interesting taking that that change at step. So. Okay, uh, thank you for your time. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> very cool.